Hey guys, SwapHelper.com here. I uh, wanted to make a quick video and show you guys what to expect when you purchase one of our TAC adapters, uh, what's included uh, with it, a um, uh, brief overview of how it works, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So, what the SwapHelper.com TAC adapter will do is basically allow you to install your Cummins into a Ford or, uh, depending on your model, Chevy, uh, without using a tone wheel. It uses the stock uh, TAC pickup on a 12 valve or uh, the signal wire off of a 24 valve or common rail um, and will adapt that to uh, the signals that the, the Ford uh, truck needs uh, so that the tachometer works like factory, um, all your accessories work, air conditioning, fuel pump, uh, etc. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and open up the box. Everything is uh, shipped uh, within one business day of your order. Uh, it shipped priority mail USPS uh, with tracking and insurance. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Okay, upon opening the box, you'll notice three things are included the swaphelper.com tack adapter itself, the wiring harness, and a copy of the instructions. So let's start with the adapter itself. So the adapter itself is shipped with only two screws loosely installed. Um, the remaining two screws are in the bag. Also included in the bag is basically seven pieces of vinyl shrink wrap, uh, marine grade with adhesive, so it will help keep moisture and the elements out, uh, which will ensure a long-lasting uh, adapter installation. I'll go ahead and let's open this up. So you, Upon receiving it, you will remove these two screws. And that will expose the adapter itself. So you'll see here there is a row of switches. Uh, these dip switches uh, will allow you to configure the adapter for uh, whatever Cummins you're using, for whatever truck you're installing the Cummins into. Um, also above that, See if I can get a good view. There's a power and a sink light. Uh, as soon as the adapter has uh, ground in 12 volts, the power light will turn on. And then once the adapter has a satisfactory uh, signal coming from the Cummins, the sink light will turn on. When the sink light is on, that also means that it's outputting a signal to the truck. As far as the instructions, well, let's jump into the wiring harness. The wiring harness includes four feet of wire to get you started. Um, you may have to cut it down or extend it depending on your installation. Um, two different style, Deutsch style uh, automotive weatherproof connectors um, so you can't get those mixed up or anything like that. The instructions themselves go through all the aspects of the adapter, uh, how it works, um, the different uh, dip switch configurations, uh, things to do, not to do, etc. Uh, it gets into the wiring for the Cummins, uh, for the truck, different uh, wiring uh, diagrams, things like that to assist you with your installation. And of course you can always contact us at contact at swaphelper.com if you have any questions. As far as supported vehicles, we keep a updated list on our website. Um, we have a number of vehicles that are supported. Um, and tested. Uh, we have some vehicles that are supported but have yet to be tested um, and we'll keep an updated list on our website as soon as the vehicle has been uh, tested and we know that it works properly and everything works like factory uh, then we will update that on our website. The adapters are in stock ready to ship and the adapter was designed and tested right here in Houston, Texas also fabricated here in Houston so it's made in the United States uh, which is something we feel good about. If you have any additional questions or comments, feel free to put it in the comments section and we'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Uh, right now I'm going to cut to a video of this of the adapter actually installed on my own truck, which is a 03 6.0 swap uh, with a compound turbo 12 valve. So here's the adapter. And I've got it wired in. I've got a little adapter board because my truck was uh, built with one of the prototypes and so it has a different connector so um, 
So basically I've just got it run over here to the adapter. As everybody knows, my compound turbo 12 valve that it's required a lot of uh, a lot of work. Keep it going. I'll show you that it's just using the stock pickup. You can see there's no tone wheel. And there's the stock tack pickup for the 12 out. Alright, let's go ahead and fire it up. As you can see, nice stable signal. See it on the inside when it comes up, but Yeah, I gotta get my governor springs adjusted there. So on the adapter itself, you got two LEDs, one for power, one for sync, which means it's getting a good signal from the Cummins itself. 